so guys assalamu alaikum we are back at seaside estate and this is the first month of 2023 it's so amazing and refreshing about the updates and things that are going on at the land at this estate at this seaside estate here so if you doubted about this estate then you should know that this is real and the the more you delay the more the prices keep increasing right now the level that the price has increased to i know you can still afford it but the advice is that do not waste more time for it to keep rising people are keep pe people keep saying that eh, is the place developed how is the place like is it bush yes there's bush around but people are already building big big houses here so you want them to build all before you now come and stand that you want to buy land what harm are you doing to yourself the best thing you need to do is just to get your land first then you decide when you want to come and start building that is if you want to build for yourself but for those who want to buy and resell that is what they call land back and i think they are they, they are those they, they are those who need to even come and buy quick so if you are in ghana you are everywhere that you've traveled that you inshallah you want to get some small money and also have something when you come back home you also have land that or you have a house alhamdulillah i think this is the right place for you to be uh -huh. you can be there we have our brothers here this is an estate seaside estate they can help you build the kind of house that you you want to build you don't even need to be here you come and this is your house buying it is not like the way you send your money to your brother or your uncle before you can you chop them all. you can't do anything what can you do <laughs> you understand yeah. so the best thing you need to do is this this is an estate you buy the land if you want them to even build for you they can even build for you and that is really secured so i want to welcome my brothers today in this discussion for them to update us what are the updates on seaside estates currently in 2023 and what are the plans going forward assalamu alaikum brothers Walaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Mashallah, brother Salabi, right? Naam, naam, naam. And then brother Abbas. Yes. Now I guess I know your names very well. Yes. <laughs> so um, last month we had a discussion about this um, land here. Yeah. And it's it's so amazing. Uh -huh. So I wanted to know the updates and things that are going on with it right now. I think Mr. Abbas will go first, yeah? Mm, Inshallah. Alhamdulillah. Give glory to the Almighty Allah. I think we, we begin with a, a new year. This is a new year, January. Uh, so you can see the last time when uh, we made a video, you can see that the work here haven't got to this place. Yes. But inshallah, now we have worked more. That and work is, yes, the entrance of the gate. Yeah. And still, work is ongoing. Yeah. Every day you will see a different thing that we are doing here. So you can see here yourself, yeah. the land itself, you can see. Yeah. We have done more grading. Yeah. And then now we wanted to, uh, we have started doing demarcations. Yeah. Yeah. And then very soon, allocations will be there. Uh, mashallah. I, mashallah, I think that is nice. As Mr. Abbas has made it very clear about the entrance, I myself, I can see that the walls yeah. are rising. Yeah. Uh -huh, they are growing. Yeah. So I want to ask Mr. Abbas, uh, Mr. Salabir, yes. that what are the plans inside what uh, have you done so far inside yeah so far so good now uh work is on progress yeah so far as at yesterday yeah um we've done a lot of job yeah yesterday our surveyor has visited no. here yeah so we really done a very big job yeah uh, we started with the allocation mm. which is the pillars yeah mapping the pillars yeah so okay. we've done a lot of that okay so the demarcation yeah uh -huh. so from tomorrow going yeah what we are going to be doing is yeah. making sure we mount the pillars yeah and then putting the names of dudes that have made payments the, that, that have finished their payments, payments. okay uh -huh. okay okay so okay. in fact we've done a very big job yeah yeah on yeah. the yeah land okay as you see. okay yeah. i think that is that is very okay right now i'm seeing that the land is becoming super bare yes it becomes yes. so flat so flat yes. and if a land is becoming flat it becomes scary and becomes expensive yeah, very, very expensive. <laughs> so if you are still so, waiting that you want the land to fall you want everything to be fair before you come and buy i think you should know what you are getting yourself into yeah i think maybe start uh, celebrate one thing i want to also know is um when you look at the demarcation as he talked about um uh, and he said that uh, those who have made full payments are those that yes yes will get their land demarcated to them what are the updates on that um is it everybody that if i just ask i come and pay let's say i can't pay full you understand and i come and pay like 
five percent of the land can you give me the land if i pay ten percent of the cost of the land or fifty percent of the cost of the land can i get the land or what is the percentage that a person is to pay before he can have or see the land like this mm, let's say the percentage yeah. initially like your first uh, payment should be 50 percent yeah. okay so at least 50 percent yeah. that's half of the, uh, money. the money yeah the yeah. price of the land yeah. right so after the 50 percent at least you should make another uh, another uh, let's say 25 percent payments okay. then from there maybe we can give you we can allocate your land okay. for you, so we, are you your land. so we are talking about 75 yes. Or 70 75 percent before they can show you your land this is your land yeah so what what is the reason behind that because somebody was saying why can i pay more for, i pay for the land and i don't get to see the land like i pay yeah. it's not like you can't get you can't you can't see the land yeah. because you always allow our customers to come to the site for yes. viewing yes. so you can see the land yes. Yes. you can see that this is a land yeah. when you pay this is your land okay. but you haven't finished paying yes. so i can't give you your land yes. Yes. even if i tell you that this is your land yes. This land is belongs to you, yeah. and then today someone comes to pay yeah. cash. Yes. I, I'm supposed to allocate a land to that person. Yes, yes. So first come first save. Yes, yes, yes. You understand? Yes, yes. So your it's not like your is guaranteed that when you finish paying, yeah. you get your land. Yes, yes, it's no. not like maybe you finish paying and they will say, oh, uh, come today or come tomorrow. No, yes, yes. as soon as you finish paying, yeah. your land is there for you. Okay. Uh -huh. So it's first come first save. Because I can't give you land now because you make some deposit yeah. and then someone will come then pay cash. Yes. Then which land at least the person the person who pays first should have uh, in front. Yes. First yes. come first yes. save. Yes. Yes. So the one who paid full has finished first yes. before you. Yes. You understand? So one thing I understand about the benefit about this is that um, some people want to pay half like that and they want to start work. You understand? They will put their money in the work. Uh, buying blocks, buying things. Then when the month ends, for them to make their installment, they can't wait. Uh -huh. So if maybe this 75 you're talking about, the person has to pay 75, I think this is fair. It's a fair deal, you understand? And you didn't hold the person by now. You have to pay 100% for you show your land. Mm. You understand? I think it's a fair deal and it's it's really beautiful. What other thing do you have to share with us, Mr. Abbas? Um, as you said, you pay in the hundred yeah. percent outright. Yeah. Moment you've done that, yeah. we are just going to point your land for you. Yeah. And then we'll make sure we put your name yeah. on the land. Yeah. Yeah. And also as earlier on, as I said, yeah. not just that we are okay to for really um, do the yeah. demarcation. Yes, yes, yes. Together with the lane. Okay, okay. Okay, so with the demarcations, Mr. Uh, yes. Abbas, with the demarcation, what does it entail? Do we have roads? Do we have lawns? And what's, what does it yes, with the demarcations, we have roads in there. Yep. So the demarcations entails uh, the development part, okay. and let's say the commercial part, okay. and the residential part as okay. well. Okay. So, and then the roads are well demarcated okay. and they're perfect. Okay, so what, yeah. what you are basically are saying is that uh, there's a place that people can buy and build and sleep there. That is residential. Yes. There's a place that people can buy and do business. Sure. And then there's a place that people can buy and want to resell the land. Exactly. Okay, okay, okay. I think I think I think I now understand it. Yeah. Yeah. I now understand it so I want you to update us on your location. Maybe somebody wants to is this the first video the person is seeing okay. and the person wants to get the location. I want Mr. Salabre to do that. Okay. Give us the location of this place. Oh this place is located at yeah. Gumwa Fete. Okay. At the back of uh, Pentacles Convention That's Center. Kaswa, Kaswa. That's Kaswa. Yeah. Okay. Yes. That's Kaswa. Yeah. At the back of Pentacles Convention, Convention Center. Center. Okay. That's where we are. Okay. That's not far from Pentacles are big uh, center. Yes, the okay. big I think the, we're coming the the headquarters. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. The main Pentacles Convention Center, yeah. the whole Ghana. Yeah. Where their headquarters is. Yeah. We're just at the back of them. Okay. It's okay. not far from okay. the Pentacles okay. Convention okay. Center. Okay. So your office, if someone wants to see your office, where is it at? Our office is in located Kaswa yeah. at Kaswa. Yeah. Winger last stop. Roman Winger. Roman Winger last stop. Okay. Anali. Okay. That's where our office is. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. It's, uh, I saw the Olomo school. Is it there? Yes. The Olomo Islamic Academy. Yeah. 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 That's the also school, your school, right? Belongs to us. Yes. Wow. Wow. So, so if the person comes to the school, that's where your office. That's where our office is. Okay. Okay. So okay. it's very safe. Okay. For you. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. I think this this makes a lot of sense. Unless you see the school, the school is a very big school. So this also plays a role in ensuring the credibility of the people. 
because for someone who doesn't even have a place to see to stay how can he sell a big land for you mm. or sell a big land to you it would have, it would be a big mistake to trust in such a person and Olomosh is rather not so Olomosh has a big office Olomosh has a right location they have cars that would bring you here and I think this is the right place for you to be Salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh wa alaikum salam mashallah thank you for your time big man are you looking for a genuine place to buy a land in Ghana a land where you will not have any problem with any chief or landlord kindly contact Olomosh Realty to buy a land somewhere around Kaswa South at Seaside Estates their land is amazing with land title contact them now